problems, problems. There's always a problem. So today's problem is, because I thought it was just going to be a simple thing, I'm just going to change out some ballast. Um, what I'm working on here is a full four bulb fixture using the T12 fluorescent bulbs. T12s being the old large style bulbs that you don't see much anymore, but I got a whole case of these bulbs, so I wanted to use them up. And because uh, I got the ballast for them, for the T12, and then uh, when I first got the ballast, I opened it up and I said, well, wait a minute, my wires ain't quite the same because my old ballast, if you go up here, the old ballast, I've got a total of eight wires coming out of the ballast. I've got a, a power wires. Of course, I've already got started on it. I didn't really plan on making a video, because, but I couldn't find a really good video on showing how to do this. So I thought, okay, well, I'll make one. But it's simple enough. You just make sure your power is off, unhook your main connection here to the ballast. Because I know you got all these other mess of wires that look scary and confusing. It ain't going to be no problem. Um, but anyway, I got in here looking, and you can see we have two wires on this side. We got a power and a neutral wire. We got blue and red. Total of eight wires. That's old style, old magnetic ballast. Okay, the new ones, being electronic, are 10 wires. So I first saw that, I said, well, now how am I going to make this work? Well, then I got to looking closely. There's a little schematic here. But it's awful dang small, so I printed it out nice and big so I could get a better idea of what's going on. So it's pretty simple. So now we're just running two wires to each individual bulb. Instead of jumping around from one bulb, they had you was jumping from one bulb to another. That's why you didn't need as many wires. So that's not going to be a problem. The next thing we got to do is just eliminate all the wires, all the ballast. Um, first thing is getting the wires out of these sockets. And... Um, of course, I only got one hand, but the idea is I hold this in one hand at the same time, pull and wiggle this wire. Let me see. I'm not going to do it. But if you just hold this in one hand at the same time, add pressure and just wiggle it back and forth, and it'll pop right out. Now, if you have a real sharp little tool, you reach in that little hole and you can press down the little hole in the six, six o'clock position. You have like one of the little sharp scratching dental tools, and that'll release it. So, um, so my next thing is right now, I'm going to go and pull all these wires out and then stick the sockets back in place. So all the wires will be gone, pulled out, and I'm going to remove the ballast. And then we'll start wiring up the new ballast. Shouldn't be no problem. So I think I figured out a way to show you what I mean with one hand. Because I'm just, I'm going to pull on this wire and twist back and forth. See how that came out? Easy peasy. So I'm just going to do that to the rest of them and get all of them released. Maybe I should point out something. The way they originally wired these up, like they, they would have one ballast would power both, the, both outer bulbs. And then the other ballast would power both inner bulbs. So I'm going to do it the same way, wired up just at the same direction. So I just thought I'd point that out. You can tell that by how your wires are going. See how the, the blue and the red are going to the two? center bulbs. Then this one over here had our blue and yellows. Which one's here? Yeah, blue, no, blue and red, I should say. The blue and the red was on the both outer sockets. So I'll do the same configuration when I put the new ballast in. All right, you see, easy peasy. Took all of two minutes to get all those wires released. I just gotta take one little screw here loose, remove the ballast, get the camera in the right spot. Come on, get the camera up where it belongs. All right, get the screw out. A little dangerous doing this one hand. Get that out. Put that on top of the refrigerator. Oh, look at that. This one has two screws. Well, surprise. Usually they hook onto this little piece here. That was a little bit different. But they are slotted. So all you gotta do is loosen it. I gotta just loosen it just a little bit. And it comes off. There we go. One ballast down. And we'll... Uh, Get the other one off and get the new ones mounted. I was just going to point out, you can tell when these things went bad, all this goo starts squirting out of them. And they overheat and whatever's in there melts and pushes out. Sometimes they really can make a mess, stink and carry on. But yeah, that style they don't make no more. Okay, and as you can see, it, it uses the same footprint. I can use this, the same holes and we're trying to do this with one hand again. Let's just see if it's possible. Oh, 
always working with one hand, it seems a lot. And it is port important to make the make sure these things are grounded. Make sure your ground wire is, is attached here to the to the box. All right. So now got that done for one. All right. I'll go ahead and nothing about my second one. And get my wires lined up here. Voila! Ballast are installed. Just not wired yet, but isn't it, isn't it pretty? All right. But now keep in mind when you're jumping up and down on your ladder, be careful. One of these wires could really hurt you if it poked you in the eye. So just go slow and be mindful where your wires are hanging down at. So now all I'm going to do is follow the schematic. Okay, so Mr. Schematic. So here's a ballast. And remember, remember we'll, I'm going to power it, or wire it the way it was originally wired. So I want, I want both outer lamps powered by one ballast and both inner lamps powered by another. So I'm going to wire the outer ballast first. So you just, just follow the, the wires. It's colored. It's easy enough. So... That one outer ballast, it's going to be, looks like yellow on one side and brown on the other. Another one's going to be blue on one side and red on the other. So let me jump up there and put those wires in place. Alright, so just like the schematic, so we got the, the red and the blue. So there's a red wire and a blue wire. Blue wire goes to the back bulb. And the front bulb, we just got the brown wire and, and my yellow wire right here. Right, I'll show you how, how easy how easy it is to plug up. So you just take your wire over here, go to the outer socket, and just push it in place. It locks in. Take the other yellow wire and just push it in. It locks in place. Now, in case you had some kind of weird socket where it wouldn't come out, you could always just snip these. You could always just cut these wires and use a wire nut if you wanted to do that. Luckily, these pop out real easy. So you see I got a wire, yellow wire going right here. So there's a bulb wire, there's blue. We got our red hooked up. All we gotta do is do the brown on the outer socket. Push that one in. Push that one in. There. Easy peasy. So that ballast is wired up. And I'm just gonna do the identical thing to this one. And we'll, and we'll hook up the power. We'll flip a switch. We'll see what happens here. So it's always something. Just always something. So um, my something is now, I go, my wire's a little bit short. Really no big deal, but I just want to explain this so it doesn't confuse you. Because my first thought, okay, it'll make it simple. I'll, I'll have blue and blue, yellow, yellow, red, red, brown, brown. But no, I can't do that because if you notice the wires here, one set of wires is longer than the others. So in order to make it work, because I don't want to be adding wires, I just have to, because remember all we need is red on one end of the bulb, Blue on the other end of the bulb, yellow on the other bulb, brown on the other bulb. Doesn't matter which way we get there. So remember blue and red. So I'm gonna, instead of taking blue to this socket, I'm just going to run my two blues over to this socket. Here my wires. All right, so push that in. All right, it's locked. There's another blue wire. I do this as we go to show you. Okay, so both blues are hooked up. Now on the other side we need red. Opposite side is red. Got plenty of wire on this side. So red there. Red here. I have to tidy up these wires. Alright, then same way other side. I need to go Instead of being yellow, yellow, we're going to go brown. And come here, brown wire. Brown and brown. Don't matter which way. And on the other end here, what we got left, all that's left is two yellow wires. Yeah, real fun doing all this with one hand. We're managing. I got that. This one. Sorry, I got my finger in the way. Okay, so now it's completely wired. At least the sockets are. All I gotta do is connect connect my power. So uh, it's gonna take two hands for that. Just black, black, white, white. And get those hooked up. Put the wire nuts on them. I'll momentarily stick the bulbs in before I tidy up all the wires. Just to make sure it works. 
don't want to jinx myself and then we'll see how it goes now this thing I want to strip these wires back quite a bit longer so I can get a really good connection on my power wires here but I want to show you this awesome tool uh, it was amazing how cheap this is I can't remember it's less than 20 bucks maybe but it is an amazing stripping tool and because I'm always using seem like I'm trying to video with one hand let's see if I can make this work how sweet is that? Did you see that? We need to play that in slow motion. Let's see if I can't do the same thing with the black wire. But I'll put a link to this tool because this should be in everybody's toolbox, I'm telling you. It will make your life so much easier when it comes to stripping wires. And I can appear on it. Come here, come here, come here. Whoops. Oh, hang on. I need to bend this. Take that down because I want a longer strip than normal. Now we got it in place. Come here, one-handed. Ta-da! Just like magic, I'm telling you. Nice long strip. And it works on any gauge of wire. I mean, you know, probably down to 10 gauge. I'm not sure what gauge these are, probably 16 or 18. All right, so I'm gonna get these twisted really good and get a wire nut on there. Okay, just wanted to point out, you know, be sure to get your wires all the way down to the tip. So when you get your twist on there, so that it gets a good bite. I could probably do better on that one actually, but you got the idea. Okay, are you ready? And, uh, there may be sparks, there may be explosions, I don't know, but here we go. Woohoo! It works. Amazing, isn't it? All for what I spent on this thing, 22 bucks for ballast. And we have a nice bright light. You know, and those wires don't look so bad hanging down like that, do they? I might just leave it that way. That's character. Conversation piece. I guess I better tidy them up. All right, so let me flip off the power. Well, they do pop on quick, don't they? I guess that's a lot different. Those old ones used to have the old starters and stuff in them. Easy peasy. All right, let me tidy up my wires and uh, do one more, a little bit more information for you. Well, you see, I got my wires all tidied up nice and neat. I just used, because I had a lot of this leftover wire, I cut me a couple pieces off. You see how I kind of tied them up there. So that way they're not hanging down in a way. But easy peasy, so you can kind of look at this, look at your fixture, and this wire, look, you just look at the colors. Remember this ballast powers the two outer bulbs, this socket and that socket. So we've got red and then brown. Then on the other side, once again, the two outer sockets, you got your blue, you got your yellow. Just do the same thing like I did, and it will work just fine. No problems at all. So let me get that last cover on there, and we'll take a final look at it. Okay, wires are tidied up. Got the little metal plate snapped back in there. And one last test. Lights on. She's working. One thing left to do is to clean up the bezel and put it back on there. I did want to mention is when you... um working on these type of bulbs be sure to get good quality bulbs either Phillips or GE bulbs and uh, I'm going to put a link below the video of these awesome ballasts these are a good brand evidently the, the Robertson's got really good reviews so I'll put a link to this ballast that'll get you from an 8 wire to a 10 wire Easy. I think the whole project took me 45 minutes even with doing the video and I'm gonna link to this most awesome tool that I don't leave the house without I always keep it in my toolbox handy tool Alrighty, thanks for watching and have a blessed day. See you bye.